Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. It's been a cloudy day, but it was a mild day out there across the Susquehanna Valley. A few of us saw some passing showers earlier this evening, and that will be the case overnight. Be prepared for better chances for some scattered showers and periods of rain around at times through our Wednesday. Outside right now, still mild. You can see fairly cloudy as we have the low lying clouds reflected off the city lights right now in Lancaster. 47 with the stiff breeze out of the south southeast at 14 miles per hour. So start to quiet back out there on live local weight radar. We were tracking some showers that have now pushed off to the north and to the east, but notice we have some showers back over central Ohio. This is a slow moving storm system that is working its way to the north and to the east and the system's cold front will be dragged across Pennsylvania through the day tomorrow and that's going to help fire up some passing showers at times. So for the rest of the night tonight, more of the same fairly cloudy and mild with some scattered light rain showers with relatively light winds with temperatures only dropping to the low to mid 40s. Best chance for rain for your Wednesday will be in the morning through about lunchtime. We're talking periods of rain. Otherwise, cloudy out there, mild and damp with temperatures near 50 degrees. And then through the afternoon, some scattered showers will be possible early. And then later we should get some peaks of sunshine. It's going to be seasonal out there with highs near average topping off in the low to mid 50s. So here's a breakdown of the rain chances. They're highest in the morning through the early afternoon and then tapering off quickly as we head past sunset. But isolated showers may linger into late tomorrow night. Made it to 58 for our high today after a morning low of 32. It's still 50 right now at the airport. 51 if you're watching us in Carlisle. You can see this warmth extends off to our west. So watch what happens here on the predictor. You can see lots of clouds out there through the night tonight. Just the slim chance of an isolated shower. But notice as we get closer to the morning commute, we'll have better chances for some passing showers as this cold front pushes on through. But that cold front is going to be slow. Finally starts to move east of the valley as we head past 6 o'clock. Then we could just see isolated showers late tomorrow evening tomorrow night, but here's what's different compared to yesterday. Forecast is still fluid, but it looks like our weather is becoming a bit drier, at least in the forecast for Thursday, as a bulk of the rain is going to stay off to our south and to the east as another wave of low pressure moves along that frontal boundary as it moves off the east coast. However, it is a very close shave, so I still think we could see isolated showers out there through the day on Thursday, mainly east of the river, so that is still going to be the forecast all also for the Orioles and for the Phillies home opener. How much more rain are we talking? Not very much. I think much of the valley should anticipate somewhere between two tenths to about half an inch for far southern portions of Lancaster County and York County, a bit closer to an inch as you head towards the east coast. So for the Orioles home opener, look for a few spotty showers for the tailgate, also for the first pitch with temperatures in the 50s. Better chances for some showers will be around for the Phillies as they're a little farther to the east, but I do expect we'll start to see the shower chances wane getting closer towards the end of the game. So once we get past Thursday, we drive back out across the entire region for our Friday. It is going to be a breezy good Friday out there for Easter weekend. Best chance for showers will be around later in the day on Saturday through Saturday night. As of right now, it looks like Easter Sunday is going to be dry. And then as we head into early April, daily chances for some showers Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. But temperatures stay near average with highs in the low to mid 50s. All right, Ethan, thank you.